Hi guys and gals, Froggy here. What I'm doing today is uh, a continuation of yesterday. I did some clay bar and polish work on the Suburban. This is an O2 Suburban. I've owned it since new. Uh, let me show you the hood. Now, you're going to see a lot of reflection <laughs> of the garage door there. Um, I didn't try to correct the paint or make it perfect or anything. This is 02 to 12 to 17. It's 15 year old paint, but I have always tried to keep good wax on it. Most of this car's life, it has been garaged, but uh, hold on. Okay, I'm back. My neighbor needed a tool. So I'm doing a little bit at a time. Uh, yesterday I did the hood and the left, the, you know, the driver and the passenger fenders and then I used some uh, forever black on this originally this car had like the light gray like that down the bottom I never liked it up here so this black uh, plastic or vinyl whatever this is dye does a pretty nice job of, of making that all black so it blends into the body but this is clay it's automotive clay it's not exactly the same as the stuff you kids play with so you've got to get automotive clay but it lasts a long time and it'll get dirty when you rub it on the car but then you just you press on it and knead it uh, K-N-E-A-D knead it and it will expose a new surface so let me show you how this works you want to get some detailer a uh, quick detailer like this and what you're trying to do is there are environmental contaminants that embed themselves on the paint of a car and you can feel them if you wash the car and then you run your hand over it let me, let me put this down you run your hand over it you can feel it now this is nice and smooth because i did this one already um, here i did this door so this one's all right. This door I haven't done yet. And I can, I, it's clean, but it's rough right there. I can feel how, feel how rough it is right there. Usually it's on surfaces that are facing up rather than these side surfaces don't get too bad because the, the stuff falls down here. And then from moisture and sunlight and everything, it just kind of welds itself not really welding but puts itself into the into the paint so what I'm gonna do and I'm, do, I'm working one hand here you know how I always do you can spray this detailer you spray it on like this or you can spray it on the um, the clay also and what you do see how nice and clean that is right now you rub it, just rub it like that. I don't know if I got any yet. Yeah, a little bit, you can see a little bit of brownness there. Let me try over here because I want to show you what it looks like. It doesn't matter too much which way you rub the clay. But you want to have sufficient um, liquid, like the detailer, so that it moves. You don't want it getting stuck. There, okay, now you can see some of the contaminants. Let me go out where the sun is. And finding a sunny spot. You see it? See where it got brown? That's what you got the contaminants off the paint. See how clean that is on that side? And see how it got brown. So that's clay barring. Um, you want to do primarily these surfaces, the hood, the, the top of the car, the roof, and especially these surfaces that are kind of pointed up that way. And then do it lightly down here, but you can just feel with your hand that there won't be that much down there, usually. Um, then you can 
polish it if you want to use polish or wax it or use a, a cleaner wax. Um, I, I don't, I used to use cleaner wax, but I don't very much anymore. I will be putting some polish on there and I use this, uh, this polishing tool with a, I've got a, a clean one to use. This is a port cable PC, uh, I think it's PC24 or something. Let's see. 7424. Yeah, it's a 7424 port cable. Random orbit polisher, so you really can't damage paint with it. And not like those big buffing wheels where you can damage paint with it. Um, this has different speeds. Uh, but really I wanted to just show you about the clay bar today. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll finish it up uh, with another um, segment of the video after I get that done. I'm doing this two doors here, then I'll do two doors on the other side. Then maybe I'll do some more, or maybe I'll be tired and stop for lunch. So after your clay bar, and before you start putting wax on, or polishing, then waxing, um, just take the quick detailer and uh, a nice microfiber rag and wipe off the leftover from the clay bar process. And then just rub your hand on it and see if it feels smooth. And that's uh, pretty good right now. Put some wax on. Okay, so here we go with some wax on it. Reflections of my garage area. So that's a pretty good clay bar wax job, in my not so humble opinion. There you go. 